Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so excited you decided to check out this video. Thanks so much for being here, and if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, it is March 1st. I am so excited because we are that much closer to later days and summer and all the things that I enjoy. <clears throat> I'm ready to come out of hibernation very, very soon. Hopefully the weather here will warm up a little bit because it is so cold. Oh my gosh, yesterday was freezing. Um, we had a little tease of spring because it was warm and rainy on Wednesday. Yesterday was freezing, like the windshield was so bad, but okay, it's March 1st. So we're gonna do a planner flip. We're gonna flip through the Hobonichi Weeks and the Hobonichi Cousins. So if you are into that, stick around. Um, we'll start with the Hobonichi Weeks. So I've mentioned this in another video. We'll get to it, but um, I messed up and I planned in the wrong week and that's okay. <laughs> that is real life, like I like to say around here. If you're here for a real life planning, you are in the right channel. All right, so here is, I'm actually gonna pull you guys down just a bit so you can see it's a little bit better. I don't normally, like, all right, so I do plan out my monthly in here, but I don't do it every month, so. I really love how this came out though. So the washi tape uh, shop had sent me some washi and I thought this was perfect. It was like tea time. There was a pink one, um, one that was kind of like green and like earthy tones. Um, let me see, do I have them? There we go. We have this one, which I thought was really pretty. And there was a red one that I don't know where I put it. Um, all very similar, but I really loved have it over here in my washi draw drawer. No, maybe it's in my jar that I can't reach. That's okay, but it's tea time and there's like red, um, more red and white. And then they have this nice soft pink. So I thought it would be really cute for February. And I love how this came out. I will link them down in the description below in case you're interested. It's called Tea Time from the Washi Tape Shop. Okay, let's get to, that's December. Do, do, do. Let's see, I think this is February 1st, right? Or is it January 1st? It might be January. Yep, this is January. Oh my gosh. You know, it'd be helpful if I didn't. You know what? This is February. Although, why does that say January? See, this is where the problem comes in. I don't really, I don't use this for like planning, planning. Does that make sense? Okay, here we go, wait a minute. I use it for a to-do list, so I've gotten into this weird habit where <laughs> I'm like blocking off the top, so I have no idea where we're at, but here we go. This is February, I found it. This was the last week of January into February. I did not plan in this for some reason. We'll probably find out when we go into the Hope Nature Cousin. Okay, so I use, this was a Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. It was, it's the year of the dragon. So I used the kit from the Coffee Monster Co. It's so cute. Look at that little dragon. And Weston's a dragon, so it was pretty exciting. Um, I really like that I've been doing planner checks with you guys because it keeps me accountable. It gets me back to my mood tracker and my habit tracker and my high and low list. So I really like how this looks and they've been filling in really nicely. Um, I do use this for a to-do list, so not really day specific, although I will put in any important things that we have going on, on this in this section. I've been kind of thinking about revamping it a little bit, but I haven't quite decided, um, but we'll get into that. This is, I did not do a planner check this week. And how do I know that? Because there is nothing in, I didn't come back to it. I didn't check off anything in my to-do list. I didn't do my mood tracker. Um, I did set it up though. And I love these stickers. These are from Coco and Fluff. Um, these are Cozy Reading. I think it's Cozy Reading or something like that. I can't remember. So cute. I love the vibes. I love the colors. Gave me fall vibes, but I just love the whole cozy aspect of it, <clears throat> but unfortunately I didn't come back to it. So I don't think we did a planner check this week for one reason or another. Spencer had COVID, but I think that was this week. I think that's why we didn't plan. Um, okay. So this is the 19th through the 25th. This was last week, I believe. Yeah, this was last week. I used my subscription for the first quarter from Coffee Monster Co., 
so cute. And then I had, um, I think this is City Life. I can't remember the exact name of it, but this is also from the Coffee Monster Co. And I made it matching and my cousin, which I think a few of these I did match. Um, but we definitely did a planner check-in because I filled in everything. I did my mood tracker. I got most of my to-do list done. So that's good. And then, and then this week happened. <laughs> so this week was the last week of February. Um, into today, the first couple of days of March. And somehow, I think when I originally opened it, I probably had these pages stuck together. But the funniest part of all this is, is that when I was planning, I was using this beautiful washi tape from the washi tape shop. Absolutely loved it. But I was cutting the sides and I didn't realize unless I had it like this. I don't know. Maybe they were just stuck together. I haven't gone back to watch the video, but I'm going to be so, I can't even, if I was cutting and I saw a blank page, I think what I was thinking was I didn't plan in my Han last week and I was just thinking that I didn't plan in this. Um, and as you can see, I don't have much filled out because I haven't done my planner check, but we will be getting to that. That video will probably go up after this. So you will be able to see this all filled out. So if you are interested in seeing planner check-ins and me filling out all the things, go ahead and hit that subscription button so you don't forget. Um, do it now and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever we come out with something new. So if you're interested in seeing um, my planner check-ins and seeing what this looks like all filled in, you will. Um, okay. So I hadn't, I had someone else ask me, so this is a spring start. Um, I got this last April. I was thinking I was just going to get another one this year. I haven't, I still haven't decided. I have a couple of weeks cause this goes until the end of March. If I remember correctly. Yeah. I have until the last week of March. So I think the thought was I would get another one. Honestly, I haven't really looked too much, but I haven't seen anything. I figured I would get a new one because what happened last year was I had gotten this in January and then April came around or the spring start came around and I fell in love with this cover. Um, so I bought it and then I just started planning in it. Um, I do have this January start that I've set up and it's so pretty. Um, I love the cats and I love the color. I love the vibes. I have all my pictures in here and everything. But honestly, I was going to journal in it and I was going to do all these things and then I didn't. So I haven't filled in anything. I haven't decorated. I haven't done anything. So what I might do is I might jump into this for April and just put my tabs up and then use this for, I don't know, random things because um, they're empty. So I can just use them for journaling or whatever. So I it's still to be decided, but I think I'm going to stick with this one because I really do like it and um, I love how I decorated it and I like how my kids and my cats and all the all the things are in here. So I think we might just jump into this in case you were curious. That's like the tentative plan for now. Okay, so let's go into the Hobonichi Cousin. I feel bad if that was a little underwhelming. Um, this is just honestly, it's this used to be my everyday carry and I had more things that I would put in here and I spent a little bit more time in here. Now it's kind of like a once or twice a week kind of pop in where I am filling out my trackers and checking off my to-do list and then my market stuff. Um, this is like my, <clears throat> my catch-all. So this is where all the magic happens. And I love this planner. I really do. It's just like probably my favorite um, ever. But I do want to mention I lost my weekly tab. So I have like a monthly tab up here and I had a weekly one and I put it in on the side and I took it off. I remember taking it off to plan <clears throat> and I think one of the cats kind of got at it. I don't know where it is. So I'm going to find that. I have extras, but I'd like to find the one that I had. I hope it's not. I don't know. Cats probably hit it. They like to like find things, Willow especially, and like hide it underneath like area rugs and stuff. But okay, so here is my February. I love this kit. I love these strips. This was from um, the Coffee Monster Co. It was a regular kit, I think, or for like regular planners, but came with these banners. Um, I did it for January too. And then um, March, I ended up getting a regular cousin kit and I kind of regretted it. I'm not going to lie because I do really like this banner. But I like how this came out. I love the colors, the purple with the yellow. Very, very pretty. Um, and yeah, I really like how this haul came out. Um, I didn't come back to, so I did read two books. I did have somewhat of a low spend a month. I did kind of buy a few things in the last week or so. Like we got some cell phones. That was like a need, not necessarily a want. Um, 
but I did buy some things for my cozy planner space. So I, I feel like I budgeted for most of it or I had like the amount to spend. So I'm not sure yet if I consider that a low spend, but we'll see. Um, and let's see, I've been saving up for my hair. You know what? I'm going to check these off. I probably should do that. So I did read my two books. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to say yes to a low spend because for, for the most part, we didn't spend anything above and beyond really what we needed. Um, I have been saving for my hair. I'm very proud of myself. And we did get Weston sparring gear. Well, actually, no, I lied. We're getting it tomorrow. Um, but we'll go back to that. We'll talk about that later. Um, and then I have to follow up with the MRI for Spencer today, actually. So for the most part, I did accomplish some things, and I but I stopped filling in my low spend. Sometimes I don't come back to this tracker. I really need to get better with that. All right, so let's get to... Oh, here, is this my weekly tab? Oh my gosh. Why did I not think that it was in here? I've been looking for it. That, that makes a lot of sense. Guys, I am losing my mind. Just in case you're wondering. I'm fine though. Oh, I blocked it up on the start of February. That's why. My goodness. Seriously, Erin? I gotta get my stuff together here. Okay, so we'll start with February. I did not do anything. I haven't done anything. I don't think I did anything for my January one either. Nope, I haven't. I just did my vision board. Um... But I do have another page, two pages that I want to work on. Eventually I will. Sometimes life takes over. Okay. So let's see. This is a lazy day. It's been cloudy for days. Oh my gosh. That's right. It was like cloudy for weeks. Like that's what it felt like forever. And it was starting to like really weigh in on my mental health, I have to say. Um, like I don't mind a, a rainy day here and there, especially if I don't have to go anywhere. Curl up. Good book. That's how Wednesday was this week. Like I got on the couch with my blanket after I got my all my tasks done. My reward was I was going to sit and read with a blanket, cozy with the rain. And it was nice. I'm not going to lie. It was nice. Um, but, oh, and I did my taxes. I am such a dork. I love doing taxes. Call me crazy. I don't know. Um, so that was good. And then let's see, these are all from these stickers. So I like to be matchy matchy. You know what? I skipped the whole weekly section. Let's do this because this is not going to make sense. I like to be matchy matchy with my weekly spread and my daily pages. So I use stickers from, I believe it was the August subscription. It was the snail parcel. I can never remember. I don't know why I do this. So I didn't subscribe to it last year and I was kind of bummed. I didn't subscribe. I would just get it every, like when it came about to purchase for the quarter. I don't know why I didn't just do the subscription, but it kind of was a bummer this year that I didn't get the subscription for the snail parcel. Um, but I did have snail mail because I was subscribed to that one. It's okay. It's all good in the hood. Um, I think this is what happened to me last year too. <laughs> and that's okay. Um, but this was from the August Snail Mail subscription. Love this subscription. This one is probably my most favorite because I love the vintage vibes. I love these like little posted, um, it's a, it's washy, but it's like little postage stamps. That's what it reminds me of. Love it, love it, love it. And I really like how this is neutral. Um, my week filled in pretty nice. And I always, some days seem to like fall off. I don't always plan on Sunday, but really like how this came out. I like the neutral vibes. And as you'll see when we get back into the daily pages that I like to match things. So, okay, this is actually, you know what? I want to check on something. This must have been the end of, yes, yeah, so this is the end of January. I might have matched it in here or did I not do that week? I didn't. Okay. So I think I'm pretty certain this is when Spencer had COVID. Let's see. Yeah, I think she tested positive for, yep, she tested positive for COVID on January 29th. Oh, I feel like that was like a year ago, but it really wasn't. Um, and this week came out pretty good. I like how this week came out. I like the little bit of like the purpley color. I kind of popped in there. I thought it was really nice. Okay, let's get to the next week. If I can do the pages. This was Lunar New Year, the Year of the Dragon. I matched this to, um my weeks i love how this came out these colors are really pretty the pinks with the the neutrals and the blues oh i don't know it's so pretty i love the dragon so so cute let's see this is when spencer she went back to school 
She had to wear her mask, but this was a big week because this was the week that she actually got her teeth cleaned by the dentist at the school. And it was so amazing. I'm so, so proud of her. Okay. Oh, and then this was the week of Valentine's Day. I'm not sure what happened. I was having a really bad... So February was a good month. There was a lot, like if I have to reflect on it, it was a really good month, but my mental space wasn't really where I wanted it to be. I'm feeling, I was feeling very overstimulated, very burnt out. Um, and I think that um, with some reflection, I think I've figured it out, but this week was really hard, I guess, for me because I didn't, I didn't get back into my planner. Um, and I didn't plan out my days. I don't know if I did much these days. Like we had a snow day on Tuesday. It was a lot of rain, a lot of yuck and like just cloudy. And like, I don't know. Um, I had a rough spot this month, but I feel like with every rainstorm, there is a rainbow. So I did make some progress with my mental health this month. So this week was not a good week. But that's okay. We're going to keep going. It's all right. It's all right. This is last week. Love this kit. <laughs> or not kit, but the subscription. I thought it was so cute. Um, I like um, how I conveniently had this washi that looked really good with it. And I just thought it was really cute. I just really like the um, the vibes. I thought it was super um, fun. And I like the colors. So let's see. Anything? Oh, this was for a vacation. This is the week that I think that I had the aha moment. Um, and this week kind of led up to that. Um, <clears throat> I slept in a lot. I took some time for me. The kids were home. We did some things. I was able to pour, pour into my own cup so I could pour into their cup. Um, and we had a really good night. We had some friends over on Wednesday or a really good week, I should say. And then we, what else did we do? I went out on Friday night. We went out to dinner as a family on Thursday. Weston got some new glasses. So it was pretty, we had a nice day on Saturday, even though we sat at Verizon for like three hours. But it was still a nice day. We had a good, a good February vacation, I have to say. And then this is this week, but we're going to kind of skip over it because it's half like, well, I guess we could stay. We can stay on it. I used a combination of the master artists and sunny day which i think was part of a subscription if i remember i think it was the november subscription but i just thought they went well together i really liked the i love the master artists because i love van gogh he is my favorite but there's a lot of sunflowers in that kit or in those big doodles and um the sunny days of course is flowers and i'm really 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 wanting spring so that was the inspiration for that one all right let's get back to this we already went over this page but these are the um, little bit of leftovers from the um, the August subscription and then the washi tape that I used um, throughout these pages. So now we have, let's see. Oh, this was leading up to, so this is the week Spencer had COVID, right? So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this was in January. And then this was Thursday. So Spencer was still homesick with COVID <laughs> and Let's see, Spencer day five of COVID, happy Friday. I managed to get all my stuff done and I have been working on my cozy craft space. So, and I'm really starting to find my way around. I'm repositioned my desk and I've like kind of moved some things around, added some little details and things like that, that I'm very excited to show you guys. I'm going to do a video um, of like the Amazon finds and just different things to kind of like um, tie everything together. But I was really happy with the way that I set everything up sunny Saturday. Oh, and then Weston was sick, which thankfully he did not have COVID. He just had a cold. So that was okay. Um, again, these are all Coffee Monster Co. And then I have like a couple from um, Hub and Chill Girl. Let's see. This is Weston had a cold. I tested him 5,000 times. He did not have COVID, which I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, let's see. And I did my meal prep. I've been really enjoying meal prep. I've been following this person so um, Sweet and savory Steph, I believe her name is. If you're looking for meal prep ideas or just different, like easy, um, healthy meals, um, I highly suggest checking her out. She's got a blog and um, I found her over on Instagram. So definitely check her out. But I've been enjoying doing some meal prep. It kind of helps with uh, what do we have for dinner tonight kind of thing. So, and then making breakfast for Joe and I for the week and then lunch for Joe and I for the week has been really helpful. It's kept me 
um, eating better foods because sometimes during the day I forget to eat. Like I just don't think about it. And then when I do think about it, I don't want to make myself anything. So I've been really enjoying the meal prep. Um, let's see what did I make a zucchini and hash egg bake. That was good. I remember that one was good. And then the savory zucchini pancake bake. That was different. So I like zucchini, like zucchini bread or zucchini muffins and it's sweet. This was savory. So it was kind of weird, but it was really good. I have to say it was really good. Um, and then this creamy stuffed peppers was really good with this. And then I did zucchini chicken boats too. It was very, very good. Okay. And then I had a migraine. Let's, let's count how many migraines I had this month. So I had a migraine on Monday and I did nothing but sleep. I slept, um, because it was so bad all day. And, um, let's see. Oh, and then we ended up getting a new game. Resident Evil 5 did not like it. Um, I don't know. It was, it's, it was hard to like play if I remember, or I was looking at it and I don't know, we got it, but neither one of us liked it. Um, and then these were some of the things that I wanted to get for my desk space. I was so grateful for Joe. He did the dishes. He did everything. I went and I slept because it was just so bad. Um, and Spencer went back to school that day and she said it was okay. She had a good day. It's a new day. What a good day. So today was a good day. Apparently this day was a good day. Um, oh, I got done a lot of things today on this day. I keep saying today. On this day, I got done a lot of things because it's really hard. When I go down with a migraine, I'm, I'm, I'm behind. That's how I feel. So it was nice that I got everything done. And then, oh, this quote I got from, we like that show, Only Murders, Only Murders in the Building. And we had been watching, I think, season three. And it says, you are who you are and that's enough. And I don't remember which character said it on the show, but it really spoke to me. So I wanted to write it down, document it. Um, oh, and then this was the morning that Weston woke up pretty late. Like not late, like we were late for school, but late, like he has like his own timeline of things and he woke up later than that. So it was a really tough morning for him and which ends up being a tough morning for me. Um, and I was starting to feel very meh, as I like to say, like where I'm just feeling like overwhelmed and just empty. Like my gas tank is on empty. My glass is empty, all the things. So this is Friday Eve, finally home. Where was I all day? Heading out soon to pick up my mom. Oh, this is Thursday. Not, oh yeah, Friday Eve. Okay, so this is Thursday. We went out, we did, we've been kind of doing our shopping days on Thursday, which has been working out for me. We'll get into more of that as we progress. Um, and I got a lot done, but we're always running late. Like that's what it is. Like we go to these stores and like her and I are just kind of like walking around and looking at things and we're like, we're just going to get this. We're just going to run in and out. And then like two hours later we come out. Um, and then it ends up like making me super nervous because I feel like I'm going to be late getting the kids, but then she ended up coming with me and then I got to take her home. So I was finally home, but it took, took a while. And this is when I got some new PJs. I needed some, I got like four pairs because, um, I'm in my hot flash era. So, um, the sweatpants and the sweatshirts that I usually wear because I'm freezing all the time are way too warm for me. So I bought some lighter weight pajamas and they've been working out mostly good. And the cats are getting into it. Bo does not understand the, the no meow. I'm gonna check on that. I think they're okay. Um, and then I was thinking about some hobbies that I wanted to start exploring. I like to journal, um, bullet journaling, reading, things like that. Um, if you've been around for a minute on the channel, you know that I have um, been trying to think about what self-care looks like for me right now in this era that I'm in. Um, so I'm kind of like figuring myself out. This was a Friday. Um, we had some, I had some R&R. &R. I don't think I did much that day. Hot flashes, no joke. <laughs> I'm not a fan of them. Yes, no, I'm not. Um, I hung out with Colleen. Oh, yep, yeah, hung out with my neighbor and we had a play date. Um, no real R&R &R today. I wasted time on the phone. Oh, yeah, okay. So I wanted to do the R&R &R thing. That was the plan for the day. But then I was on the phone uh, probably with like my mom, my dad, and then, you know, other people that might call me and I kind of get like stuck in these vortexes of time wasting. So I didn't get any R&R &R in during the day. I don't know if I did anything that night, but 
Okay, Saturday, the mother of all migraines. That was bad. Um, and it was in the same week. So I think that part of my issue this particular week was that I just wasn't feeling good. Like I probably had a migraine all week. I just didn't know. Which is never good for my anxiety and my headspace. But this one was really bad. I spent most of the day sleeping. Um, and then Joe, so yeah, I documented it. I had a migraine, took my medicine, I slept, and I slept again. And then I started feeling a little bit better. So we went out to a couple of stores. Um, and then we went, we ordered, no, we had pizza for dinner and we played Uno with the kids. And then Joe and I, um, we did Resident Evil 5. That's right, because we got it. I don't remember. I didn't, I, I don't know if it was a demo or if we actually purchased it. We didn't like it. We gave it two stars. Um, and then that was when we started playing Animal Crossing. We gave it four and a half stars. But I've actually found a couple other things that I like um, as much as Animal Crossing or maybe a little bit more. But it's okay. Um, it's a fun game where Joe and I can sit and play. But uh, let's see. Sunday we did a family breakfast. And I was taking it slow. I unplugged and I was trying to just kind of chill out and recover from the mother of all migraines and then monday happened um uh, monday vibes which I never went back i probably started doing this and then someone needed their hair done so it was missing a shoe or whatever and next thing you know it was time to go for school and then i kind of just like the day took off with me so i never came back to it tuesday was a snow day we had our very first full snow day here in rhode island i think we got like six or seven inches of snow joe ended up staying home because i mean like they were talking like it was gonna be a snow apocalypse it was not he could have gone to work but it was really scary because you don't know and they were saying it was gonna be really like windy and poor visibility and he doesn't work around the corner so he stayed home um and did a work from home day and um i just kind of like laid around and took it easy whole family was home and they went out and play, built a snowman later in the day and I did probably some reading or gaming or something <laughs> so here we are oh I was doom scrolling I got stuck in doom scroll mode I think that this was um part of my issue with um this week like this was the week that kind of led up to February vacation and all the things um so, oh, and it was Valentine's Day. Yeah, because this is the week that I didn't fill out. Let's see. I just want to double check. And I think that that's what was going on. Yeah, this was the snow day. And then I didn't fill out this week because I was probably just all up in my head. Let's see. This is Valentine's Day. Weston broke his glasses. That was an awful night. This night was not good. Um, Weston can't see without his glasses. So he, he the arm broke. Like, he didn't break them. The glasses broke. So I feel like they're, those are two different sentences. So Weston did not break them. The glasses just, they broke. Like it was probably from like him just playing with them over and over again. Um, and then the plastic just wore down. But I was like, well, the eye doctor is not open. So I can't get them to the eye doctor tonight. We're going to take them on Thursday. But then he wasn't going to have glasses at school. And he was very upset. And it was really hard to calm him down. And it went on for a really long time. It was really difficult. Um... And it really didn't go as I planned for Valentine's Day. But um, Joe came home and he ended up super gluing them, which thankfully they are still super glued. We have new ones on order, all the things. But this was our errand day, which I was glad we didn't go this day because I actually think. No, I thought maybe I woke up with a migraine that day, but I didn't. Um, all right, so we did my errands. Joe um, super glued Weston's glasses so he could wear them to school. And then, um, where did we go? I've been getting back into gaming lately. And everyone's getting her groove back. <laughs> so this is when I start like really discovering what self-care is going to look like for me. Um, which I think I talked about in a video. It's kind of like I'm going back to like, well, what did I do before kids? What did I do before I came like the primary caregiver and like the, you know, um, having all the mental load on me and, you know, all that stuff. Um, what was my go-to fun things? Like I colored, I journaled, I read, I played video games. So kind of getting back into that again. I do believe that self-care is also can look like, you know, taking a nice bath, but my bathtub's too small, so I can't do that. Um, a facial or going to get a massage or going to treat yourself for a coffee. I think there's different levels of it. For me in particular, my brain moves at like 50 miles an hour. <laughs> and 
when I play a game or I sit and journal or I'm coloring, um, all the chatter in the brain kind of like goes quiet. I actually um, filmed a reel and I, it's like a good depiction of that. So if you're interested in that, go check me out over on Instagram, uh, Planning Life with Erin. We're having a blast over there. And also TikTok, Planning Life with Erin H over on TikTok. Um, but yeah, so I'm starting to figure it out. <laughs> like this is leading up to February vacation, starting to figure things out. I had a migraine again on Friday. Um, and then I bought myself a switch because we have one. My parents got it for Weston and Spencer probably like two years ago. And they all have to have their games on it. They play their games. Weston takes it with him when he goes and stays out overnight. And I was like, you know what? Girl wants her own. So, and I say that I had a low spend. I did. Um, but that was a big one. But we, we it's fine. It's fine. Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> So I got um, the Switch, and then Joe and I had a kid-free evening without children. Um, we went out um, to Haruki, I believe. We were supposed to do these other things. We were going to go to Target, and then we were going to go to the Bob Marley movie, but um, I used to love going to the movies. Now I'm like, mm, unless my kids want to go, I'm like, mm, and I really want to see that movie, but I think I'm probably going to wait till it comes out on like streaming. I don't know. Um, and then... We didn't go to Target because of two reasons. One, I spent money on a Switch. <laughs> and two, um, it hadn't come in yet. And we, were, we didn't want it sitting out on the doorstep. So we came home. But it ended up being a really great night. So we, had, we went out for dinner. And then we came home. And we, the Switch came in. We set it up. And we did some gaming. We played a bunch of things and discovered a couple of new games. So it was kind of cool. Let's see. Oh, and then we... <laughs> We had different dinners. So like I got a, a roll. We go to this. It's a sushi restaurant, Haruki. And I got a a cold roll basically. And then Joe got this really, it was really good. It was a noodle soup like thing. And it had carrots in it and fish. And oh, it was so good. But it was so hot. Like I put ice cubes in it for him because it was just so, it was so hot. But it was really good. But it was funny because my dinner was like ready to eat and his dinner was not. So it was, it, it took us a little bit at dinner. We should plan that out better next time. But anyways, the kids were still at my parents all day on Sunday. So Joe and I just kind of hung around in the morning, had a nice lazy breakfast. And then we went over to Best Buy because the TVs were on sale. So we got a new TV for the office. Um, and then my mom and dad came back with the kids and we had some dinner and played some cards. We've been playing Uno. Well, we play like, um, Rami with my parents. And then when we're done playing that, we play a game of Uno with the kids and they love it. <clears throat> this was the first day of February break. Let me see. What did I use this week? Oh, I used the washi tape and some of the leftover from the Valentine's Day kit. I used some washi from from the Coffee Monster Co. And then Monday, this was the first day of February break. Um, I had a really nice day. I slept in a little bit because why not? I never do and I'm lacking sleep. I'm not sleeping very well um, at night. So it was a nice day. I took some time to fill my cup. Um, for as long as I can remember, I've always been filling others, other people's cups. It's time to fill mine. So yeah, that's just how I was feeling. This is last week, I guess. And um, we were supposed to go to my cousin's house the next day, but they were sick. They had strep. So we couldn't do that. Um, day two, change of plans. So this is me talking about that. And I'm using the washi tape from Coffee Monster Co. I think it's called City Life. I could be wrong. If you know, and if you know I'm wrong, put it down in the comments below so people know what it is. Um, I can't remember what it... I want to say it was City Life, though. Okay. Um, let's see. Change of plans. So we didn't really do anything. We kind of just took it easy. Me and the kids. Um, my cousin and her husband were sick. And I felt a little guilty about not doing anything. But, oh, so that's what I struggle with. I struggle with feeling guilty. Like if I'm just sitting around doing nothing and not doing something, I start to feel guilty about that. But I'm really, really working on that. Um, because I'm important and I'm worthy of being able to sit down and I don't have to do all the things, like at least not all at the same time. I can take time to fill my cup so I can be more present for my kids, my husband, myself, you know? So this was me kind of talking it out with myself. Um, let's see. I, I wish I could say I slept in again, but alas, this morning was, was an early rise because we ended up going out to do my um, errands with my mom and the kids. And I was very anxious this day. 
so very anxious. My blood pressure was high. I checked my blood pressure. My blood pressure was high. Um, my anxiety was really high. I had like pain in my chest, which was not heart related, but my brain was making me think it was because my anxiety is stupid. Um, so this was a bad day, um, anxiety wise, but then I had strict instructions from my doctor husband. He's not really a doctor, but he made me stay home um, and relax. He's like, what are you doing today? And I'm like, well, I have to, he's like, no, what are you doing today? And I'm like, all right, well, I have to do a couple of things for planning life with Aaron stuff. But he's like, but then what are you doing? And I'm like, taking it easy and just relaxing. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. So this, I think was the turning point for me. And I realized it was probably only about a week ago, but this current week that we're in has been a pretty amazing week. My anxiety has been low. Um, but again, we'll continue talking about that as we get closer to this week. Um, so these are my cozy hobbies, coloring. Um, I started a new book. I did some gaming. I did some journaling. I listened to music. Um, mission accomplished. I took the day um, and my kids were around. We had lunch together. We had breakfast together. Me and Spencer played a game. So like, yes, I'm doing things with my kids in between, but mommy took some time for herself here and there too. My kids are a little bit older now or they're getting older because I can't stop time. So they're, they're going to be 10 and 12 and they spend time on their own. Like Weston likes to you know, play games or like start creating things in Minecraft. Spencer likes to be on the phone with her girlfriends and all the things. So in those little pockets of time, I took some time for myself. And the whole thing is, is that I might have free time for myself, but free time and pouring into my cup is not doom scrolling. It's not sitting there just like aimlessly scrolling on TikTok or Instagram. It's taking my phone and putting it somewhere else and doing something different, something that will make me feel good a brain dump, a journal entry, stuff to quiet, like those 50,000 voices in my brain of all the things that I need to do. And that's what this list is. And this is what self-care is starting to look like for me. So I'm really excited. Friday was the last day of vacation. We took Weston for his eye exam because apparently we didn't go in 2023. Who knew? Um, so we took him for his eye exam. We ordered new glasses and then I treated the kids to McDonald's because why not? It was the last day of vacation. Um, oh, and we went out to dinner on Thursday night. We took them out to Cello's. We took them out to the Texas Roadhouse, but if you've been around, you know that it didn't work out. So we ended up going to Cello's, but that was really nice. We went to go see Weston do his karate. It was a really nice night, nice little family night. And then we did McDonald's on Friday and I went out on Friday night with my girlfriends and it was a lot of fun. I'm very excited that my friend actually talked me into it, which is really cool place. It was called the Jefferson Speakeasy and it was nice. I liked it. The drinks were good. The appetizers were good. It's more like a bar with a few appetizers on the menu. Definitely recommend it. If you live in Rhode Island, check it out. I thought it was really cool, kind of swanky. I liked it, but it was casual. Like, you don't have to drink. You don't have to, like, dress up. But it was just, it was nice. Definitely going to do that on a date night with Joe. Hopefully sooner than later. Okay, let's see. Oh, and then this is kind of like how we ended February vacation. So I know somebody had seen this apple in here because I had to go. I went back and I backplanned a little bit because um, I was busy with vacation and all that stuff. But there were things that I wanted to document. So I went back and I did some back planning. And I guess somebody snuck a peek of the Apple symbol that I had put in here. And thought maybe I got the iMac. I did not get the iMac. If anybody wants to send me a green iMac, I won't, you know, be upset with that. But currently it is not in our budget. We have to save for a family vacation that we're taking this summer with Joe's family. It's like a little reunion. Um, we've got Spencer's MRI coming up. Joe might need sinus surgery. Um... So, you know, all the important grown-up things in life have to get taken care of before I can get my iMac. But like I said, I won't be upset if somebody wants to send me the iMac or the Apple headphones in green. I mean, like, I'm not, I'm not going to complain. But anyways, so no, we did not get, um, we did not get the iMac or any headphones. We did get cell phones, um, for the kids. So, this day was just crazy. Like and Joe woke up, Joe's phone is like four or five years old. He cracked the screen. So he's been kind of cutting his finger a little bit, like nothing crazy, but he's like, I need to get a new phone. I'm like, okay. So suddenly he woke up Saturday. He's like, let's go get a phone. Cause I guess Verizon was doing um, some deals, we can get free phones, yada, yada. My phone was two and a half years old. It's just started giving me problems. I wasn't really like, oh, I need a new phone. But we went there. 
I got a phone. He got a phone. Weston got a phone. We all got phones. I feel like Oprah. Um, and then it actually brought down our bill. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And <laughs> then um, we, let's see, then what do we do? Oh, and then I, we didn't get Spencer a phone. So Spencer's turning 10 and I was like, I'm not getting her phone until middle school, blah, 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 blah. A lot of her friends have phones, let's face it. Like we, if you are an 80s baby or a 90s baby, even maybe you probably had a, a landline and that's what you used when you called your friends. I was always on the phone with my friends. I remember always being on the phone with my friends. Um, I lived before the internet. <laughs> I grew up and I was already starting to grow up and then the internet became a thing. So I always started with a phone, but it was a house phone. So I always had access to communicate with my friends. Um, we don't have a house phone <laughs> because we don't pay for cable because it's crazy. Um, so she has her iPad, but you can only do so much with your iPad. Um, and most of our friends have phones. So when we were at Verizon, we did not get her a phone. Um, she wanted to go to uh, get bo boba tea. So we went to Gong Cha and she loves it there. So we went there. Her and Weston got some boba tea. Me and Joe got some um, poke, poke bowls. I have to like pause when I say that. Oh my God. Um, very, very fun afternoon. Like while they were taking care of our phones, we did that with the kids. Then we came home and I was brushing Spencer's hair. She had a little bit of a knot in it and you know, it hurt her. She's very sensitive. And then she started crying. And I started crying because I thought maybe she was crying because we didn't get her a phone. She never said anything. It wasn't that. It was just her letting out. She's been feeling very emotional lately. But, you know, if you know, you know. Um, but we ended up, Joe and I made a decision to get her a phone. When my kids got iPads, they got like hand-me-downs from me. Well, Weston did. And then um, we had a very generous person donate or give us. Um, at the time, we... The kids were little, we were, we just lost our business, all that stuff. And so somebody was very generous and they donated not one, but two iPads for both my kids. And Spencer was little and it was very restricted for both kids. But, um, and iPads always been handy for Weston and communication and all that stuff. So I said, Joe, I'm like, they got iPads at the same time. They might as well get their cell phones at the same time. And both my kids are very, um, responsible. I trust them. Um, I obviously keep an eye on them and they have like, you know, parental things and stuff like that, but I trust my kids. So I think it's okay. And no, under no circumstance are we having Facebook or Instagram or, you know, they watch YouTube videos. That's fine, but they're not allowed to comment because it's, you know, restricted. But, um, I think it's okay. And honestly, I think I've felt a big like release or relief rather, because I know that if I'm running late, I can shoot a text message to my kids and be like, I'm running late. Don't worry. I'm coming. And I don't have to worry about them being upset or worried that I'm not there, if that makes sense. It doesn't happen very often, but in the rare case that it does. So I do feel better about that. But we did decide that night that we were going to order her one. And then Joe ended up going to pick it up. That's why I wrote cell phones for everyone. But we had a good day. We hung out. Um, I did some meal prep because it was like back to the grind, laundry, meal prep, all the things. And that was Sunday. Monday hot flashes are no joke like guys I am melting I cannot take it I need to really get serious with my vitamins and what kind of nutrients I need in the day because I can't with these hot flashes they have like they come in like waves you know so like yesterday wasn't too bad today was already been bad and it's only like 10 o'clock but I put this so hot I'm melting <laughs> it's sometimes it's at night that's pretty bad oh and I forgot to mention, I purchased Dream Light Galley. <laughs> Dream Light Galley. How am I doing? Dream Light Valley. It's a Disney game. So cute. I've been playing that for days. And I gotta say, I'm a little obsessed. I like it a lot. That and Faye Farms. Those are my top two right now. Hot flashes are no joke. Let's get back to this. Um, it was a nice day. Um, I went and got my nails done. Okay, so this is this is this week. So now we can like catch up. So we've talked about what does self-care look like for me? I've been struggling with it. Kind of rediscovering my hobbies that I used to do before kids, that kind of thing. Like who was I before I became the primary caretaker and the person that like, you know, carries the mental load and all that stuff. Like before Erin kind of got lost in all of it and got pushed down to the end of the list. It's not working. Like me being at the bottom is not working. I need to be at the top. I need to put the oxygen mask on first so I can you know, be there to save other people or I need to pour into my cup so I can be present and pour into my family's cup because my family is super, super important to me. Um, 
And I think that by not taking time for myself, not doing the things, it kind of like leaves room for resentment and go away and overstimulation and not wanting to be present in the moment. And I know I'm right for me personally, because this particular week that we're in now um, was very different for me. I'm very much like Weston in the sense of I am stuck to a routine that I have to follow. And if I don't, I feel lost. I feel anxious. All the things. It's like that security blanket for me. This week was very different. Um, I had a nail appointment at 10 o'clock. So I got ready before I took the kids to school. I've been so focused on my morning routine and my nighttime routine that I just forgot to relax and kind of like just let it happen. I find that when I overthink things, nothing happens. If I just relax, everything happens. So I got ready before I took them to school. I do think I like that. So I got ready before I took them to school, came home. I did some, some planning life with Erin things. I had some breakfast and I got my nails done. I came home. I had to do a couple of other like little tasks for planning life with Erin, but then I left it. So I had like over an hour before I had to pick up the kids and I sat down with a blanket, even though it didn't last very long because hot flashes are the worst. I'm not allowed to be warm anymore. That's the thing. I have to be cold. Second, I tried to warm myself up for any reason. It goes the complete opposite direction and then I'm melting. But I did get cozy and I played um, at Dreamlight Valley for a while before I had to go pick up the kids and I loved it. I loved it. I took time for myself. I didn't feel guilty. All the tasks were done. It was great. Tuesday, I had to take Bo to the vet. I didn't cross any of these things off, but I did them all, I promise. We can do that, actually, since we're here. Might as well. Um, I took, I had to take Bo to the vet, and so I got ready in the morning. I took the kids to school. I came home. I did some playing life with Erin tasks. I got Bo ready, had some breakfast, went and took him to the vet, and came home. And then I did a couple of more tasks, like small little things, like create, create a thumbnail for, for the YouTube video. Um, and then... I sat and I read more of my book that I really, really loved. Um, I finished it on Wednesday. It was The Teacher by Frida McFadden. If you're looking for a page turner to make you go, oh my gosh, what? <gasps> That's the book for you. Um, very, very good. I loved it. Five stars. Super good. So I read more of that. That's what I did in the afternoon on Tuesday. And then I picked up my kids and it was great. Um... Wednesday was a rainy, yucky day. That was a day that I was talking about. So what I did on Wednesday was I did, um, I didn't get ready before I took the kids to school because if you saw my plan with me, was my plan with me? I think it was. I need like a, an entire day. Like I need to like think about it in my head that I got to take a shower and wash my hair. I hate washing my hair. It's the most difficult thing ever. I do wash my hair, so I'm not gross, but my hair is really thick. It takes a while to dry. Then I get hot when I'm drying it and oh, all the things. So it's like a process. So I took the kids to school. I came home, took a shower, washed my hair, had some breakfast, did some playing life with Erin tasks. And then I sat for like two hours. I had my lunch and I read. I finished my book. It was so nice. I did it guilt-free because I'm worthy and I am, in, I am, you know, it's okay. It's okay for me to take the time every day, every day. It doesn't need to be once a week or twice a week, every day, one hour, two hours. I pour so much into my family who I love so very much. And Joe encourages me to do these things. So that's where we're at. I finished my book. Five, five stars, guys. Run, go buy the book. It was good. I, man, that was my opinion. I don't know. I really liked it. Five stars. Read the rest of the book. Joe's like, you finished that book? I'm like, that's what happens when you have a good book. So let's see. Yesterday was a shopping day. And let me, I just want to add in that my anxiety has been very low this week. Very low. Um, I did feel a little bit of anxiety yesterday, but um, I was fine. And then I realized I've always had bad anxiety when it comes to shopping. That's why I go with my mom or I go with Joe. I don't like to go by myself. I kind of get a little anxious. I'm the girl. I did it many years ago when I was younger. I used to have been in shopping carts in the middle of the supermarket because I would get too overwhelmed and I'd just leave. Um... But I've been better about it over the years. And then I have like, you know, a body double. I go with my mom. I go with Joe. Some moral support. But I was feeling very anxious um, to go shopping. Which I know sounds crazy. I feel crazy saying it. But if you can relate to that, let me know down in the comments. Um, I get very overwhelmed. The sights, the sounds. There's so much to choose from. And it's just, I don't want to spend the money. And I get nervous and all the things. Let me know if that's something you can relate to. Um... But 
<laughs> we got to the store yesterday and I got a phone call. We were almost to the store and I got a phone call from us in school that he had a headache and the nurse asked if he could have some ibuprofen. And I'm like, yes, absolutely. That's fine. That's all new to me. They didn't used to do that. But I was like, yeah, go for it. Do I have to bring it in? And she's no. Nope. Then about 45 minutes later, his teacher called me and she's like, you know, Weston doesn't normally complain. You know, he wants to be here. So we're not thinking he wants to like try to get out of school. He's got a really bad headache. He said his vision's a little weird, a little fuzzy. And when he was walking with the principal, because he was just walking back and the principal happened to see him, the principal had said that he said that his legs were feeling shaky and he has his head down on the desk right now. We kind of have the lights dimmed for him. And I was like, oh boy. So Weston got like this the night of the dance in December. If you've been around, I don't know if I talked about it. I probably did. I talk a lot about my kids on this channel. Um, he had a bad migraine that night. I get migraines, obviously. You guys have seen. I get migraines. I've been praying that my children did not get migraines, but it runs my family. And my sister-in-law gets them pretty bad, too. So, it's pretty certain the night of that dance, he had a migraine. He came home. He got sick. All, like, the classic, classic migraine uh, symptoms. So, I said it to his teacher. I was like, I think Mr. Weston's getting migraines. Mommy gets migraines pretty bad. So, she thinks the same. She agreed with me. She didn't really, you know, she didn't want to say it. But once I said it, she agreed with me. So my dad was nice enough to go pick him up so my mom and I could finish our shopping. And then my anxiety kind of went up because I know it's not my fault, but I feel like it is. And Weston already goes through so much. Like, but his anxiety is so high like mine. And I feel like it's important for me. I'm a no medication girl. I don't want to be on medication um, not because I think anything bad of it. I just don't like some of the side effects that come along with it, especially where I'm at in life. It's never been a good place. Like first I was young and I didn't want certain side effects and now I'm older and I don't want certain side effects. So I'm trying to kind of get control of it myself. I've always done a very good job of it um, within my life. And I'm trying to help Weston and give him the tools so he can handle his anxiety. We both run really high. Like we're very, very similar, me and Weston. It's very hard for me. Like when I hear him upset about something and then he gets upset because of the things that he said instead of the actual thing that happened, if that makes sense. I was like that very much when I was young like him. Um, and I can relate. So yesterday I was feeling anxious and I was feeling bad because I feel like it's kind of like my fault. Like he kind of takes after me kind of thing. And I know it's not my fault. Um, but he was on the couch at my parents' house when I went to go get him because my dad picked him up and brought him there. And I was like, my poor baby. And he was describing it all to me on our way home and everything he felt. And definitely 100%, it was a migraine. He actually did get sick yesterday when my dad took him home. Um, but then as the day progressed, he rested. He, you know, no screen time, all of that. I had his eyes closed in the dark kind of thing. Um, and by dinner time, he started feeling better. So thankfully, I'm happy for that. But um, my migraines didn't start until I was 18. Weston's only going to be 12. So... I don't know. It's kind of, uh, it's nerve wracking for me. So I'm probably going to call and ask my neurologist any advice and things like that. I don't even know if he is too young for rescue medication. Um, certainly too young, I would think for the one that I'm on. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. So luckily today he woke up, he feels fine. He feels great. I haven't heard anything from the school. So I'm thinking today's a good day. Um, but it would make sense. You know, the temperature went from like 55, 60 degrees rain to like 20 and a windshield that made it feel colder than that. So I started getting a little bit of a migraine last night, but it went away, thankfully. And um, and then my mom bought me another book. She bought me The Coworker by Freedom My Fat and haven't started that one yet. But um, doing all of these things that I did this week, I don't know if it's like my hormones and I'm just in that really good week. If you're a girl, you know, you know. <laughs> Out of the cycle, there's like one good week where you feel fabulous. Um, I don't know if I'm in that cycle, but this week was really good. My headspace was really good. I am talking it up to me taking time to read and game and journal and really just be in that moment. Let my like, you know, worry and anxious thoughts kind of like quiet and um, take time for me. Spencer had a bad day on Wednesday. Did I write it down? I don't think I did. <laughs> Let's skip to the good part. I was singing that song in my head all day. Um, 
Spencer had like a not so good day at school on Wednesday. And when she came up, when she, when I got her and she came home, you know, she was upset and I felt present. I felt relaxed. I felt not overstimulated, not rushed, not, you know, oh, I'm tired. I worked all day or I did this or I did that. I didn't feel anything like that. I felt present. I felt relaxed. I felt, um, I felt like I had a full cup and a charged battery. So I'm talking it up to these cozy hobbies that I am making sure I do. Um, I think it's important. And um, I think, by golly, guys, I might have figured out what self-care looks like. This is today. I have not started today. Um, I think that I'm starting to figure out what self-care looks like for me. And I don't hate it. <laughs> I am really excited. I'm really glad that I've taken some time to reflect. I'm glad that I didn't come up with any um, New Year's resolutions in January. Um, I read somewhere that like, you know, we're in a hibernation time when we are in winter. It is winter. So the best time to do resolutions and changes and things like that is in the spring because everything is being reborn. So yeah, I agree with that. And I think going forward, I'm not going to do any resolutions or anything like that until like March or April and then like take the winter to kind of like be cozy and reflect and just um, think about what I might need for the upcoming year, if that makes sense, right? All right, guys, I have chatted your ears off for almost an hour. If you are still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I know we're all busy, so thanks for sticking around and hanging out with me. Um, if you're interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now. See, so don't forget, um, here you're going to find Hobonichi Cousin, Hobonichi Weeks. I have Hobonichi Han videos that I do. We do some vlogs. We do some Amazon favorites and you know, stationary favorites and all the things. So if that is something you're interested in, definitely hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. So you always get notified when we come out with something new. We post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then there's always um, some bonus videos throughout the week. So definitely hit that bell. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and we really appreciate it. All right, guys, um, until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.